Welcome back to our channel, Finance Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the financial titan, the Goldman Sachs Group. Is this banking giant a hidden gem or a value trap? Let's find out. First up, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or PR. The trailing 12 months PR for GS stands at 17.71. This might seem a bit high, but hold on. The average PR over the last five years is just 10.30, indicating that Goldman Sachs has generally been trading at a more reasonable valuation in the past. Looking forward, the forward PR is a much more attractive 11.10. This suggests that analysts expect earnings to grow, making the stock potentially cheaper if you buy in now. But what's driving this optimism? Enter the PG ratio, sitting at a super attractive 0.77. The PG ratio takes into account the company's growth rate, and anything below 1 is generally considered a great value. This means GS is not just about steady earnings but also about growth potential. Now, let's peek behind the curtain with insider ownership. At 0.51%, it's pretty low. This isn't necessarily a red flag but it does tell us that insiders aren't heavily invested in the company's stock. Could be worth keeping an eye on. Now, let's talk about returns. The return on equity is 7.98%, and the return on assets is 0.58%. These are decent, showing that GS is using its equity and assets effectively, though not spectacularly. Unfortunately, we don't have a solid number for return on invested capital which is tricky to gauge in the banking sector. Earnings per share or EPS is a whopping 25.61. And looking ahead, the EPS is expected to grow at an impressive 22.85% over the next five years. Over the past decade, GS has shown a positive EPS evolution with a compound annual growth rate of 4.59%. That's some solid growth. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows the free cash flow per share has been all over the place in the last nine years, showing a very inconsistent evolution. Something to keep in mind if you're cash flow conscious. Now for the income seekers, GS offers a dividend yield of 2.65%, with a jaw-dropping dividend growth rate of 17.73% over the past decade. That's some serious cash back into your pocket. But will Goldman Sachs manage to maintain this impressive growth in its dividends after seeing its enormous inconsistency in its free cash flow and currently a negative free cash flow payout ratio? The operating margin is 10.32% and the profit margin is 7.5%. These margins show that GS is efficiently managing its operations and squeezing decent profits out of its revenue. But here's a twist. The evolution of revenue and earnings over the last eight years has been flat, with a peak in 2021 followed by a decline in the last two years. Surprisingly, this hasn't dampened the market's enthusiasm, as GS has outperformed the VO in total return over the last five years. Debt Alert GS has a debt-equity ratio of 5.60 and a long-term debt-equity ratio of 1.84. That's a lot of debt which is something to consider when evaluating its financial health. Despite the debt, GS's stock has been on a roll, with a 52-week average price return of 30.6%. The market cap is a hefty $154.57 billion, cementing GS as a financial heavyweight. Finally, analysts predict that in the next 12 months, GS's stock price will be $452.82, slightly below its current price of $453.55, indicating a minor downside of 0.16%. But hold on. I believe the fair value of GS is $486.25, which suggests it's currently undervalued and might be a great buy at its current price. So, what's the verdict? Goldman Sachs presents a mixed bag with solid growth prospects, attractive dividends, and a strong market performance despite some flat revenue and earnings trends. Is it a hidden gem? It just might be. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more insightful stock breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and happy investing!